A protest rally by the opposition began today on Rustavelli Avenue in Georgia. On Sunday, October 27, Georgian President Salome Zurabishvili called on people to take to the streets in protest of Saturday's parliamentary election results, which the Election Commission declared a victory for the ruling party. According to the commission's data, the Georgian Dream Party won nearly 54% of the vote, though opposition parties have challenged the results and election observers reported significant violations. Zurabishvili, once an ally of Georgian Dream but now one of its fiercest critics, announced she does not recognize the election results. Calling the vote a Russian special operation, she did not clarify whether she believes Russia was directly involved in the election. Uh, we are here to defend our country's uh, European future because uh, we've been fighting for our freedom and independence for the last, I don't remember, like decades. And um, I think that uh, Georgian people and especially young people deserve to have a lot of opportunities, including to study abroad, to work and etc. So uh, we're here to, to say out loud that uh, Georgia is a very European country and uh, our future is in the EU, in the West. Uh, Georgian uh, president said and uh, other uh, leaders of uh, political parties said uh, and I agree with uh, this uh, uh, position uh, that to the election is totally rigged and uh, it's uh, uh, it's uh, uh, robbed uh, uh, from Georgian uh, citizens and by uh, Russian dream it is not Georgian dream in reality and uh, because of this reason we are here to protect our rights our European perspective and equality and democracy uh, because my country is occupied by Russia and I want to defend my country and I want to protect uh, the elections, which was uh, totally unfair, it was uh, all fake. So I need to defend my freedom and my future, my European directions. <laughs> we can show uh, Europe leaders that we are here, and these elections are not our choice. Uh, we choose opposition. We choose coalition, uh, coalition in our government. And we did not choose a uh, uh, Georgian dream. It's not our choice. Ahead of the protests, the Georgian president gave an interview to Reuters. Madam President, you said yesterday uh, that uh, the election result represented uh, a Russian special operation and was fraudulent. Was that a direct accusation that Russia falsified a Georgian election? No, it's an accusation that uh, the methodology used and the support of most probably Russian S FSB uh, types uh, is shown in these elections because it was very uh, sophisticated with use of multiple forms of uh, frauds. That propaganda that was used before the elections was a clear duplicate, the same way as the Russian law that we had, the foreign agents law, duplicated the Russian law. In the same way, the propaganda was direct duplication, copy-paste of uh, uh, Russian uh, clips and videos used uh, at the time of Putin election. So, of, of course, you cannot prove uh, anything, but uh, the clear links that the uh, ruling party has uh, with uh, Moscow also demonstrated today by the very many messages of uh, support that they have received uh, is what we have seen in, at work in this country. The Monitor Organization said that there were significant violations that may have impacted on the results, but they did not say clearly that the result had been falsified. I wonder, you spoke of falsification yesterday in your speech, what evidence you have of this and would you be able to present it? I don't have to present any <laughs> evidence. I've received enough information from the local uh, observing missions and the international observers do not immediately see everything and usually they come to conclusions much later on. This is only the initial uh, conclusion and I don't remember uh, many examples when they immediately uh, condemned the, uh, or declared the non-legitimacy of elections. Uh, and the answer of one of these uh, representatives of one of the uh, electoral uh, observation missions uh, that uh, the uh, condemnation has to come from the Georgian people, I think is very right. 
uh, they can observe irregularities. Uh, they see only part of what is happening. The full picture is only appearing to us. We see it through the results, but the full picture is appearing uh, late, little by little. Uh, and the only judge on the fact whether the elections were legitimate or not is the Georgian people. It's not uh, the foreign observer mission. So you're not talking about the ouster of the government and some kind of... Rev I don't have to do... Uh, did you see uh, my role as the president and as the only one independent institution in this country is certainly not to destabilize the country, but it is uh, to uh, seek uh, to protect the population, uh, to let the population express uh, its will and its opinion. Your contention that... Uh, Georgian Dream falsified the election and that they did not win 54% of the vote and that in a free and fair election, the other side would have won. Exactly. I can tell you exactly how much they won. They had more than 40% and the pro-European forces at somewhere around 57%. The problem, 56, or I don't remember the exact, uh, uh, and that was what was in the exit polls. That is the same American company that conducted them in the previous elections and have never departed more than 2 or 3%. So we know exactly uh, what are the uh, terms of the, of the election. With respect, exit polls can be wrong. Not to that point. Not to reverse by 15%. In response, Georgian Prime Minister Irakli Kobakidze, head of the ruling Georgian Dream Party, accused the opposition of trying to shake the constitutional order in the country. But he emphasized that his government remains committed to European integration. Hungarian Prime Minister Viktor Orban arrived in Belisi today for a two-day visit. He was among the first to congratulate Bidzina Ivanishvili's Georgian Dream on their fourth consecutive election victory. Both Orban and Georgian Dream have often faced accusations of having overly close ties with the Kremlin. Here's how the Russian presidential administration commented on the situation in Georgia. We strongly reject such accusations. They are standard for many countries. As soon as something happens, they immediately accuse Russia of interference. No, that is not true. There was no interference. The accusations are completely unfounded. We strongly reject such accusations. This is the choice of the Georgian people. Now it is important that no third countries interfere with the results of these elections. The same, Mrs. President said, that she does not recognize the results of these elections. I do not know for sure whether this is within her authority to recognize or not the election results. This is all an internal Georgian affair. Attempts are being made to destabilize the situation in the Republic. Attempts to interfere are also visible to the naked eye, but not from Russia. That is, a huge number of forces from European countries that tried to influence the outcome of this vote. This is, in fact, was declared publicly and nobody tried to hide it. We do not interfere in internal Georgian affairs and do not intend to do so in the future. Meanwhile, Germany hopes that Georgia will return to the path toward joining the European Union, stated German Foreign Ministry spokesperson Sebastian Fischer during a press conference on Monday, October 28th. The election itself is described as largely orderly. However, there were significant irregularities with regard to errors, influence and intimidation, and problems regarding the secrecy of the ballot. There are also said to have been cases of double voting and violence at polling stations, and the report also emphasized a negative environment caused by recent legislation, Transparency Act, Central Election Commission legislation, abolition of gender quotas and threats by the ruling party against opposition parties to take action after the election. We condemn these violations of international norms and join international local observers in calling for a full investigation into the reported irregularities. We wish to see Georgia on the path to the EU. 
For this to happen, however, the Georgian government must return to the path towards the EU that it has left. Every candidate must fulfill the EU standards, and they will not be watered down, and that includes Georgia. And this now also means that the aforementioned irregularities in connection with the elections must be investigated. Yesterday, we received the initial reactions of the 350 election observers, and a final report is now being compiled. And, of course, we will wait for this report before coming to a conclusive judgment. As Hungarian Prime Minister Viktor Orban, like all other EU Prime Ministers and Presidents, can decide for himself where he travels to, he has done so. But it is also clear that he is traveling in a national capacity and is explicitly not speaking on behalf of the EU. French Foreign Minister Jean-Noël Barrault expressed concern on Sunday, October 27th, over the results of Georgia's parliamentary elections held on Saturday. On Monday, the European Union called on Georgia to conduct a swift and transparent investigation into the alleged election irregularities. Uh, we are following closely the developments uh, upon the parliamentary elections uh, in Georgia that took place on Saturday. Uh, you would have seen that the High Representative and the European Commission published yesterday an initial reaction. Uh, here we have made it clear that the EU expects the Georgian Central Election Commission and other relevant authorities to fulfill their duties to swiftly, transparently and independently investigate and educate uh, electoral um, irregularities and allegations thereof. Those irregularities must be clarified and addressed.